In this tutorial, you'll learn how to prepare and e-file Forms 1099 and 1096. To get started, you must complete the online-only IR application for TCC or Transmitter Control Code. To do so, go to irs.gov and select Tax Pros from the top right of the screen. Next, select Filing Information Returns Electronically, or FIRE, and follow the on-screen instructions to access the application. Contact the IRS Technical Services Operation, TSO, number for help and support regarding your TCC. Once you receive the TCC from the IRS in Traca County, go to Firm, Firm Information Setup and enter your transmitter control code in the TCC field. Then click Save. There are a couple of options available in Drake Accounting for individual clients regarding 1099s. These are located by selecting the client, then navigating to Client, Edit, Federal Form Setup. Select Mask ID to have the SSN and TIN masked on all copies of the 1099, except 1099 Copy A, and then select 1098. You also have the choice of not printing the date on the signature line of the 1096. After you have made all of your selections, click Save. Prior to processing 1099s, all live vendor checks must be printed and ATF vendor checks created in the correct year. To process 1099s, go to Payables and select Federal Forms from the form drop list, select 1099 MISS or 1099 NEC. Based upon the form selection and how vendors were set up, vendors for whom payments have been processed are listed in the selection and options screen. By default, all vendors are selected. Click process. Successfully processed forms 1099 are indicated with a check mark in the processed column. Processing vendors also prepares the 1096. You can view each 1099 by selecting the vendor from the Find Vendor drop list. If any changes need to be made, edit the form, but do not reprocess the 1099s as that erases any changes you have made. Since we're planning on e-filing the client's 1099s, we don't need to print copy A or the 1096, but we may still want to print the other copies for the client. Choose which copies you print and keep the defaulted form and data options selected, then click Save, Print, or Save, which saves the processed forms for printing at a later time. Our focus today is on e-filing, so we won't go into too much detail about printing. However, it is important to remember that if you're going to paper file 1099s, you must print copy A and the 1096 on the pre-printed redline forms. Select the desired print options and choose data only to print the information onto the form. Now that the 1099 forms have been processed for this client in Drake Accounting, it is time to create the upload file for the IRS. Go to eFilings 1099-1098 Create File. The TCC that was entered in the Firm Information Setup screen is auto-populated in the TCC field on this screen. First, select the type of 1099 to transmit on the right side of the screen. Next, select the original file if this submission is the original file. Select replacement file if this submission is to replace a file that the IRS couldn't process or for which the fire system indicated a file status of bad. Approximately 30 states participate in the Combined Federal State 1099 e-filing program. Through this program, the IRS electronically forwards information returns to participating states. If yours is one of the participating states, select Test File. 
Once the test file is received and approved, the IRS emails an acceptance, usually within two days. After the test file is approved, return to this screen to transmit the actual 1099 by selecting Original File. Currently, the Combined Federal State Program only supports the 1099 MIS, not 1099 NEC. Choose the 1099s for electronic file creation. The forms that are displayed are based on the file type selected on the right side of the screen. With all information entered, click Create File. The file location is displayed at the bottom of this screen. The path to this file is needed when transmitting the file on the IRS FIRE website. To upload 1099 and 1096 information, go to eFilings, 1099-1098, Transmit File. Click the IRS FIRE link. Follow the prompts to log in and click Send Information Returns. Enter your TCC and TIN. Click Submit and accept. Choose the appropriate file type, original or correction, and click Submit. When prompted, enter your 10-digit PIN or PIN and click Submit. Browse to the file location noted earlier and open it. Click Upload. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.